now live. Matthew? Well, Bill and Laura, this monument has been in artist Kehinde Wiley's vision for the last three years, and thousands of people poured out, showing up outside the VMFA to witness history. Would you like a program? Would you like one? Programs of history. I'm emotionally and whole body excited. Along with high anticipation are what greet people Tuesday outside the VMFA. No one else in here. They're going to go around and go into the building. Crowds begin to fill the lawn. Glad we came early. <laughs> in preparation of the unveiling of artist Kehinde Wiley's Rumor of War statue. This statue of an African-American man on a horse. Karen Cranbule made the trip from North Carolina. I actually brought my kids, took my kids out of school to bring them up here because I think it's really important. To be a part of history. It's taken more than 100 years, but the rest of Richard's residents finally have a monument of a man on a horse who looks more like them. From an artist who turned his vision of inclusion and equality into this way, work of art. A society that can say yes to black men and their place in this society. It's not about black men, it's about all of us. It's about a society that can include all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, rumors of war. After a bit of a snag. No! It'll be even more exciting when it comes off. 45 minutes later. That is awesome. That is well worth the wait. History is made. Leaves you speechless, man. <laughs> Now, police were prepared for any protesters today, but thankfully today's event was peaceful. peaceful. The monument is now open to the public. Working for you tonight outside the VMFA, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Matt.